Pull a shift with me, you drink coffee. Black. That's it. Cargo out to Cuba. Good. You somehow managed to piss off both the communists and the gangsters. Word is Pops Holland is seriously fucked thanks to you. Best way to make a crook squirm is to hurt his money. Huh. Yeah. I heard Frank Pagani told Pops to get his ass back to the freight yard. Pops isn't going anywhere until you're dealt with. I understand he's a hard motherfucker. He's a survivor. Thanks for looking out, Pablo. But I dealt with a lot worse than Pops. Go get that commie-loving piece of shit, Holland. With you fucking up the airdrops, the people back... Paul, you've uh, really got poor Frank in a bit of hot water over at the bathhouse. Sorry, shitty pun. <laughs> Because of you, Tony D'Arazio is having a hard time controlling the city's politicos, so he's ordered Frankie to keep an eye on the Imperial. It's a third strike, you're dead situation. How do you think you'll handle old Frankie? That's all up to him. Hey, I could tag along, my camera's in the car, and... You want to dig up more dirt for your rag, you do it on your own time. I ain't gonna drag your libelous ass all over town. I get it. I get it. Be seeing you. If you kill Bernard, be sure to let me know what happened, okay? Did you see any of the stuff in Frankie's blackmail materials? Some of this is... wow. All this corruption can't be good for the city. I mean, it's great for my byline, but terrible for the taxpayers. Bernard has a singularly impressive ability to stay off the radar. Fucking cocksucker. Get out of here! What? Huh? God in heaven. All units, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. Repeat, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols.
Jimmy Kavar called. He's at the City Hall construction site and wants to see me. He knows. I don't know how, but he knows I've been helping you people. He's gonna kill me, or I'm going to jail. Then he'll kill me. Oh, God. Go home to your wife, Lenny. Pack a bag, get out of town for a couple days. When you get back, this law will be over. You'll talk to Jimmy? Sure. Kavar's waiting for you. Well, he gone I'm gonna follow your advice. Get out. Of Reckon the construction site is really causing problems for Kavar. Eight. What have I gotten myself into? Huh? Boys fixing to shoot somebody! Officer request assistance. All units. All units, negative visual on suspect. Begin search in immediate vicinity.
I was never what you might call a good father. Or husband, for that matter. Not because I beat on him or nothing. I just spent too many nights out on the road. Can't exactly raise a family while you out playing the chitlin' circuit. Damn straight. Noises out the other night in the salvage yard. Public nuisance is what it is. Walking around here as if they don't know. Want some weed? I can take you up. I got smoke. Who wants smoke? Found you. 
Hey! How you doing? Where am I dropping you? I got this girl, Henrietta. Shacks up at the carousel. Ah, damn. Where was I? <laughs> oh, right. Uh, I got this girl, Henrietta. Shacks up at the carousel hotel in the hollow. Smart as a fucking whip. I left a fucking bag with her. Should have all I need to get by. Two tears in a bucket. So, yeah, me and Sammy back in the day, we had these two knockouts. And we was drinking, partying, having the time of our lives. This was uh, 1942. No, 43. He must have been about the age you are now. And the girl with your old man, she starts getting into the making out. But she got a problem. Sammy's passed out cold. Told you he was drunk off his ass. We got the goddamn devil working right here. <laughs> Where was I? <laughs> oh, right, uh... about these explosives. That's life in a quarry. Back in the day, we tried sticking our peckers in the ground and fucking the stone out, but all we ended up with was jack nutsacks. <laughs> Let you. Back in the day, I'd have been out there fighting alongside of you. Or going up against me. I told you that piece of shit. <laughs> that would have been good for you, son. Shut the fuck up. I'm gonna bury that cocksucker right <laughs>
nombreux I'll let you. Back in the day, I'd have been out there fighting alongside of you. Or going you up against you. Shit ends over time, <laughs> that wouldn't have been Shut good the for fuck you, up. son. I'm gonna bury that cocksucker. Huh? Find you. Hey! Hey, what? Fire! 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 Fire!
fucking oint. Shot. You consider shit old rice patties beautiful? Then grab a one-way ticket. But for me, it don't get up. Friends of yours, pussy ass motherfuckers used to wait for them.
me jail! Lost another one. Those yeah, assholes are getting out theirs. Let's see him explain this to Sal. Come on, you dipshits. Come get me. Okay. Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Said some of these men work for you. Not some of them, all of them. That should do it. Kai's through here. Got it blocked, but I bet we can bust through the gate. What about the train tunnel? The tunnel? <laughs> it's your call. Spotted it this way. Choo choo! <laughs> Fuck you, you goddamn cockroaches! <laughs> The cockroach! King cockroach! <laughs> we got the goddamn devil working right here! 
Lost my train of thought. Oh, that's right. I am the cockroach! King cockroach! <laughs> Enzo, calm down, man. They can't even hear you. Fuck them in the eye! You trusted me this far, Lankin. No sense changing course now. There's only one smart play here, partner. You know I can handle this. What's the word, Lincoln? Anytime you... I'm here as long as it takes, brother. Make the wrong first step, lad. It's never an easy answer, trust me, I know. Asians will run this part of the city. All right. I'll make sure our people are coordinating things between the holler and here. I guess that's that. And make sure you don't fuck it up. Well, I ain't exactly throwing a big bash over your decision, but for the time being, I can live with it. We're done for now. You'll hear from me if I need you. Yeah. 
Yeah, we need the police down here quick. Call just came in yeah, on a car. Yeah, we need police down here quick. Always There's good a unit to see in the you, area. Sir. Maybe stop over and see what's going on. <laughs> Repeat, abandon search. Return.
Return to patrols. Greetings and salutations, and all that shite. Long way from Point Verdun, aren't you, Bear? Decided it was time to branch out. Not really a lot for me in that organization anymore. So what's your new line? Mind-melting narcotics. And I hear the best are coming out of Frisco. PCP. And it's cutting into my business. Okay. So where's the operation? Beats the hell out of me. But a while back, Miss Olivia Marcano hired a top-notch chemist named Bobby Bastian 
tasked him with upgrading our operations, which will make it impossible for the small-time cooks to compete. Hell, they even got taxis delivering their shit. If I can get to Bastion's dealers, maybe they'll give them up. Tell me something I can use against them. That ain't all. Word is Miss Marcano brought in a couple other eggheads from San Francisco. Get rid of them, and Bobby Bastion's gonna find himself nice and fucked. Put a beating on some of Bastion's guys, and maybe they'll tell you. You'd be surprised how much of this speed ends up in all the housewives around here. Once I suck some money away, I'm getting away from here. Buy me a nice house, settle down, get away from all this shite. Bastion seems like an all right enough fucker. Maybe not quite as uptight as these other Frisco cunts. That Olivia Marcano. It's gonna take a real hairy pair to last as long as she has. Don't know why people get bent out of shape over drugs. Half the people in this goddamn town are drunk, but that's perfectly... Mm -hmm. Your old man, she starts getting into the making out. <laughs> Freak, I just messed myself. <laughs> Please send some officers down here. All units. Where was I? <laughs> oh, right. Uh, and the girl with your old man, she starts getting into the making out. But she got a problem. Sammy's passed out cold. Told you he was drunk off his ass. But this girl was into him, so she gives him the benefit of the doubt. Keeps trying, smacks him a bit, wakes him up. But every time she starts getting into it, Sammy drops. Poor bastard couldn't stay awake to save his fucking life. Finally, she's had enough and storms out of there, cursing the goddamn blue streak. And do you know who that woman was? Perla? Perla. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Perla didn't move to New Bordeaux until 44. I'll show you who it was. I got the photo right here. Are you kidding me? Sammy had a shot with her. <laughs> ah, shit! Oh, Are you kidding me? Sammy had a shot with her. She was passing through on her way to Hollywood. But it all worked out, didn't it? Sammy wound up with Perla. The love of his life. God. Damn, I miss those days. Fucking Sal. With your old man, she starts getting into the making out. But she got a problem. Sammy's passed out cold. Told you he was drunk off his head. <laughs> ah, shit! Where was I? <laughs> oh, right. Uh Are, lad. Looking forward to seeing where this shite goes. This is our first step toward breaking Marcano and taking over the city. I hear what y'all got to say, but I decide who gets the turf, and in the end, my decision is final. Your decision? Listen here. You put my men on the front line and locking down the action, I consider your decision fucking made. Ain't nothing to discuss. From where I'm sitting, it looks like you already got a plan for this part of the city. I think what my two friends here are trying to say is calling in help to lock down rackets sets a certain level of expectation. 
Might want to keep that in mind next time, kid. We got a lot of fragile egos here.